What's up YouTube? We got a 212 pitch here today. This is a uh, flat roof. We're going to do rolled roofing on. So as you can see right here, this is a 212 pitch. We are using the pitch finder on the phone. Um, oh, and you know what? While we're at it, come over here. Just so you guys believe me on the pitch, this right here is a 912. Okay. So this is, I just did a video on this. This is a pretty good video. Uh, I think I'm doing it in a two-part system. I should be finished editing it today. And then I will be posting that pretty soon here. <laughs> so if you haven't checked that video out, you can go check that one out as soon as you're done with this one. Um, so here's your phone back, boy. <laughs> what is that? Man, get away from it. <laughs> Come over here. Dude, there's always a dog ruining my video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> over and over. Somebody shoot that turkey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh. oh. Just hit Ben. So anyway. What is that dog singing now? <laughs> That's that one I was getting abused, man. <laughs> Look at that, they put a bunch of hay there. It's crying. They put a bunch of hay there to cover up all that dirt. That oh, the, his little circle, he was, that he was digging. Is that what the dog was barking at the whole time? Not the whole time, it was barking before he even walked over there. And you just walked over there peeing in its face, huh? <laughs> and then that guy, <laughs> hold on, were you peeing when that dude was out trying to get the dog in? Yeah, he came out when I was in mid piss. Like, what What'd you do? I kept peeing, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking pinch that piss off and run, dude. So, on pitches 212 and under, you don't want to use architectural shingles. What you want to go for is rolled roofing, uh, regular rubbery PDM, or maybe TPO, something of that sort. But you definitely don't want to just put regular shingles. All right, so we got this 212 here, and we're going to be putting on uh, GAF Liberty rolled roofing. It's pretty much what everybody uses out here. Um, so there's a lot of different ways on this install. Like if you look on the instructions, it actually says tape the seams or whatever. Nobody duct tapes the seams. Um, even in the GAF Liberty videos, you know, the people don't tape them. So uh, we're not gonna bother taping these seams today. Although GAF has a three part system for this rolled roofing, um, you can do just the two. Some people even do just the one, which I, I don't really agree with, but you can get away with just the two. Um, so there's basically like some kind of ice shield underlayment that you can get for it. Um, for some reason, nobody really stocks that in my area at all. And then there's also just the regular. You got the base sheet and the cap sheet. Uh, I forget, the first one's called like MOB or something like that. Um, but it says, it even says in most instructional videos, you don't have to use that. All right, so I'm gonna explain to you guys real quick why we don't use uh, architectural shingles on pitches that are 212 and under. All right, so if, Water is going to get in a seam like this, no matter how tight you have it, right? Water will roll down here and start to get in a seam, right? So let's uh, let's say water gets in this seam right here, okay? Pretend this whole roof shingle, right? And water gets in this shingle right here. It starts starts up here and it gets all the way down here. Well, on a pitch like a 212, the water isn't going to move out of there underneath here as fast as it would on in, on a you know an 812 or a 412 or whatever. It's gonna have more time to do, you know, do some weird stuff. So it's gonna get in right here and it can run this way very quickly, this way very quickly. Um, so because it's not it's not trying to run real fast. So if this water works its way over here, and it, it can do that. I've tore off a, a couple shingles on 212s and seen that they were the water line coming all the way over here. Okay? Now, right here, if it works its way over here, look what's right there. There's a shingle below this, just the way that there will be. What you're looking at here is gonna be your felt paper. So now, your roof will be relying on its underlayment to be dry. That's why you can't use shingles like this, you know, on two, 212s and under. All right, if you're gonna use it on a 312, I don't know what the code, I don't know if code requires it, but I would probably ice shield the entire roof if it's a 312. Preparing for my shingle demonstration. All right, here you go. 
So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna prime this metal here, and we got the spray on primer in a can. Okay, now we're priming this, and we have to let it dry before we uh, put down our base sheet. It has to be dry, dry completely, otherwise uh, we can have some issues with blistering and things like that, or it just won't seal. Okay, so we're gonna finish that. Careful for overspray when you're getting by siding. Okay. All right. So that's done. We're gonna keep this up here because we'll be using it in a little bit anyway. All right, and then we're gonna snap this line here. Put my pencil. You got a pencil on you? So we're just gonna snap this line and get rid of this somewhere about I don't know half inch. Or so above that crease an inch or two above the deck what we're doing is we want to leave enough room this is kind of something i'm just making up on the fly we want to leave enough room to get our um our base sheet and our cap sheet up underneath here okay so we want to get up underneath here and then we'll be able to uh, put this back down over it which means this will already be kind of watertight and then we're actually going to go over this with another piece of flashing about right here. We're gonna snap that line. Hold on. Boy Cub, snap that in the middle. You're gonna have to do it twice. Yeah, go ahead. Maybe. You got a good one. That is really nice. All right, so we're gonna score that off now. time for our base sheet right all right so we let this dry here this took roughly 25 30 minutes to dry and um, we're ready that means we're ready for our base sheet so I'm gonna pull a number right here something to make it manageable right so I got 186 inches so Ben why don't you cut me one at 186 inches we'll yeah. have him we'll have him cut that and uh, in the meantime we're gonna snap I snapped the three foot line. I don't know if that stuff is exactly three inches or not. Hey, uh, you got a little lip up there. There you go. Um, you can just cut them into manageable work sizes too. Like I got them cutting at 186 inches. You can just, if you guys are rolling out a bunch, you know, you want to make them manageable. So you can just cut them in 15 foot sections or whatever. Uh, so it'll make it a little easier to work with uh, and then also you're gonna want to cut uh, this is the this base sheet is the same length as the cap sheet so if I put down the base sheet right to this line here it's gonna be uh, th then the cap sheets gonna come over and they're both gonna be right on the same line so what we want to do is we're actually gonna want to cut that lengthwise don't do that Ben uh, we're actually gonna want to cut that lengthwise into you know take off a third of it okay and then we're gonna start with uh, one third of it and then continue on with full after that did you want to snap a line for that stuff yes. or okay so we got 14 inches or I'm sorry so we got 25 and a half so I'll go ahead and pull where I want 25 and a half to be. I'll just hook that and do 25. Uh, I'll do 25 and three quarter. 
because I happen to pull a number there and I know that it's going to be a little bit different. Cut that again at uh, let's cut it out like 190 inches. 190. Yep. So this stuff uh, is very sticky. Today's a bit of a colder day. So we're gonna get away with this. Being able to do this like this when we wouldn't usually be able to. Usually you gotta roll this whole thing out and be very careful with it. Because you can't get this stuff seat. Sometimes I forget I'm recording. I'm sorry. Keep recording. I know. Sometimes, Very good. Sometimes I forget I am. Good job. So, oh. Okay. So we're gonna throw some some uh, cat nails in these. smooth this out real good they recommend weighted rollers this is a small section so we're not going to need we're not going to use one I'm not going to buy a weighted roller for this is what I'm getting at okay so now that's set send that up man yes sir let me square my side up. Go, go, uh, let's peel this plastic because we can. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm perfect right there. Are you good? Yeah. Yep. Alright. We look to be okay. So we're going to go ahead and nail off this bottom. every nine inches or so Hey, uh, your girl's calling. Skip it. Alright, so we're going to get a push broom. Okay. Oh, close up. You zoom in real good? Oh, my nose? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Just ruining your video? You know, like we always do. Alright, we're going to do a world record check. Ten cab nails, okay? You mark it, set, go. Okay, wait. <laughs> mark it, set, go. Okay. All right, so we're uh we're running close on this. If you look, we only got like an extra two inches or so, and I want to get this up underneath the metal. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to cheat this one up about an inch. Um, same thing with that one. Okay. So we're going to go for that. Look at that. Big old bubble in the center. Pull tight, boy. Too. There you go. Now remember, we're installing this on a on a colder day. You're not going to be able to peel this like I just did in warm weather. It just doesn't. It just doesn't work like that. So I'm at an inch, boy cub. Here, hold on. Let me. Dang, I ran out of cat nails. Wait, I got one. That's that. So this is how you're kind of supposed to do it from probably the top down. Would be to fold it in half. This is on hotter days, but probably opposite. Maybe do it. Um, maybe do it from the other way. But yeah, you want to smooth, smooth it all, kind of like rubber a little bit. Ooh, rubber. Yeah, rubber good. Rubber good. Oh, thank God. I thought that was Oh, I think I could beat you in a race. No way! Ah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> beat me in a race, he says. Yeah, just straight roof and cement it like one thick one on the bottom and one on the back and we'll just smooth it Let me get a look. Here. I don't know, Ben, what do you think? All I'm thinking is how I've that? never seen such grace and precision <laughs> on anyone doing this job before. Boy Cub over here is going to get the gold medal <laughs> in spreading roof cement. You need to start doing nature documentaries. Or something. Put that boys to some use. Where's that podcast that? The wild boy cub in his natural <laughs> habitat on a roof. We had this too close to the heater and it opened. Mm -hmm. that boy cub. Watch yourself behind you on the spray paint. Oh god. Get up in there? Yeah. All right. This will be a more difficult challenge for Boy Cub. <laughs> this is captivating. It's marvelous. <laughs> One of the lesser known side effects of doing this job is just random itchiness brought on by the materials used. He's almost made it. He's almost done. Oh, what is that? Let's see. Let's see if he can do it. If he can go for the win. Ah. He's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> Watch him cut out this whole entire part. <laughs> oh, I fully expect him to. Yeah. Okay. This is about as good as we're going to get.
This video brought to you by smoking. <laughs> Not only is it cheap and entirely non-addictive, but it also makes you look cool as f We're good, bud. Yeah, I forgot to shout out to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I feel like I definitely did some, oh, yeah. some good there. like a roofer. Okay. Now we're going to fold it completely in half. Or fold it even more than half. Hold on. Meet me right there. Yeah. All right. Now let's put our, uh, let me get to my end where I'm good. Okay. We're going to cheat an inch up. Remember? Okay. Now I'm good. Oh, easy. All right. Hold that there. Okay. Okay. Hold it. Well, it's not making any marks on the side, so it's good. Okay. Okay. Oh. What'd you do? Okay. I'm good right here. Alright, yeah. right, I'll do nothing. Now pull tight. Pull it. Yeah, good. No way. Yeah, dude. No. No. It's still got a ways to go on the inside. Trust me. Oh, is that perfect right there too? Uh, you cut this yeah. one. Was cut to the perfect length. Oh yeah, because it was on the bottom. All right. All right now. Get her over there. Hold on. center out. Okay, just like that. Push, Push it all the way in. Tight. All the way in. This is the most important thing. Okay, look it. You weren't lying. <laughs> what? Cheating at two inches wasn't good enough. Or, uh, it's too low, like we'll you said. We just have to cut it. I need to cut it. No. Maybe. Well, even then, if you get it like that, the metal's not going to bend back down, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just going to get it underneath like this. And then slice it off, right? Oh, up in the corner, kind of? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then it's kind of clean. <clears throat> Follow behind me and tuck it in, boy. Come. Just uh, John. Yeah, yeah, John. Clean up my mess.
right. Capnellis. how you do it if it was uh, real hot out, right? All right, go on the other side so you can get this started. Thank you. So we're actually going to fold this. We tarred that already, so we're gonna fold this up at us in half, right, perfectly in half. Grab that middle boy chip, okay? Oh, get it on the line or? Yeah, now just feel this. Okay. Now let's slide it until, hold on, slide the whole thing. No, 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 no. Put it back. Slide the both pieces until we're both, until everybody's on their line. Their red line. Oh. Uh, it needs to go to you a little pool to your left. There it is. I'm a little below. Yeah, me too. There we go. I'm, I'm right on. on. You right on? All right. All right, let me put a nail right here. Mm. Oh no, where'd it go? Oh, it's right behind that. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, we all no, look pretty good. It. Yeah, go ahead, let it forward evenly. You guys still on? I moved down a little bit. Yeah? Pull, pull up. Yeah. Just a little bit. There it is. There it is. That's it. Okay. Pretty easy stuff. gonna install these cap nails. It'll do just fine. Only in this top layer. Get the hammer, boy. I think it got thrown down. Oh. No, it's behind that chimney or behind that boot. So my one my one issue was we were going to go come over here. So one thing was we needed to seal this edge, right? We're still gonna heat that up. Okay. Along with all this. We're gonna 
heat it up and stuff all over it. Like I said, we'll heat that up for the day's end. All right. Um, we can go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and blast this on now because it's all right. We'll do that here too. All right. Let's do it. Put this on. When you buy these, almost, unless you know for sure that you don't need a kit, I always buy the kit. Come on. Be careful for that mesh inside there. Go under it, yeah. You still gotta keep pulling. Down a little. Yeah, just... There it is, there it is. That's it. Didn't really move it down here. All right, well. Okay. That's it. It's got to be bigger for that. Get that zip thing. What? You can't just go right on top of it. Alright. Why? Can we? We're going we're gonna to put it... This is the other one? John, did you have it? a spare you one? You go over, man. A what? Did you have a spare yeah. zip tie? It'll go. Zip tie. Oh. Where's the other one? I do have duct tape. We, we already tied it up. Why did you just pull it? Just get your thing in there and put it. Yeah, why'd you pull it through, dude? <laughs> it's a little saboteur. <laughs> I do have duct tape if you want me to go get it. It's alright. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Alright. Ooh, yeah. Hold on. I've never done one of these. On a roof like this? Nope. So it's too bad that hole wasn't just a little bit higher. I know, and I was thinking about trying to plan for it. It would have really wanted out to. So it's like if yeah, if the base of that was right at the bottom of the yeah. black. <laughs> it would have been perfect. So I can barely see, hold on, barely see those. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, damn it. I got Excuse caught me. up in the thing. Okay. So I'm going to go just shy of that. So these are my lines that I do not cross. I don't want my overspill to cross. And it was about an inch in here. Um, let's see here. Okay. Let me go grab a couple roofing nails. Yeah, I was gonna say thank you. Probably have a couple of I don't have any roofing nails. What, like four of them or something? I got nothing. Just grab, yeah, grab like ten. Okay. We got 39 inches now and 36 to the wall, so this should work out pretty good. And we're just going to go ahead and finish flashing this up. We just got regular flashing here. No, I'm not using green. Um, I bought this from Menards a while ago and it's got brown in the back. So we're just going to go ahead and use that. All right, what I'm bending right here is I'm going to underbend this. This is just a little lip. Okay. It's just a little lip um, on my. Uh, underbend this as well so right there and then this will um, even though it's a 212 pitch up there we'll be able to press this in flat okay so I'll make it a little easier to get it up in there and we can push it in and uh, hammer it tight I might actually because it is a 212 I might want to go in just a touch more than that
I just scrubbed the fuck out of my hand. Really hurt when I, because I got tar on that cut I had. I had to scrub it with the fucking, you know those like hand and nail brushes, dude? It's killing me. So, we've got this flashing here, um, and I'm just going to tar this up because we had some tears in this old stuff, and that stuff's really doing a, still doing a good job of um, keeping this watertight already before we put this on here. Um, and then I'm just going to hit these nails too, just in case, um, you know, snow builds up or ever gets back there for any reason. I don't think it'll be an issue, but we're going to go ahead and do that. And then also I'm going to throw some some of this tar in this little hole back here. I don't know, that might be going too, too deep. Okay. And I'm just gonna do this. Oh, don't want too much of it on there because I'm still gonna use quad. And then, yeah. I'm just gonna do this back here for a little extra. That's all this is. And I'm gonna do on, on the tears. I'm gonna try to get this in. Hold on now, John. Let me get mine right up over there. Okay. Watch your hands on the bottom trying to get tar in your hands too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in on my side. I think I'm in too. That went way too good. Okay. Slide me a hammer. Uh, Where'd do mine we go? Need to slide you away at all? No, I mean you could give it a little push. Uh, I think it's tight. All it's right. fine. Okay. Yeah, and I'll smooth that out and then I'll cover it with brown. If you want to get a close up on there, how ugly that is. I didn't really plan for that when I tarred, but I'll just smooth that down and then cover it with brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wipe my hands. I think we're good there. I can put one more. It sits down nice and flush on its own. We're gonna do this one over here. I knew I didn't want to tar that for a second, but I was like, well, I got the tar on my hand, don't do it. It's because I gotta make some marks here. Hold this. Okay, so we're gonna go here. I'm going to take out from here, this is my J channel line, I'm going to take out from here up, let's see where that puts us. And I should really make sure I got this right, hold on now, yep, that should be should be okay. I might have a little too much on this side. Okay. Well, I feel like tough behind the J a little bit. It's going to. Uh -huh. That's what I got it planned for anyway. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So we're going to go ahead, push this. Alright, uh, John, I need you to tap. Tap it over. Okay, well, I'm not in yet anyway, okay. so that's fine. Tap it. I think it's moving. There you go, go ahead. There it is. Keep Good. going if you got it. You're still moving it, I think. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Keep going. Keep going to your max. 
That's about it. Are you all the way there? I think that's good right there, right? Yeah. That's it. Oh. All right. Digging it. Looks good. Yep, going like shower.